The tap by way of the rear naked choke, the winner by submission, Danny, the Italian gangster, Sabatello. And we warn all of the kids and closed captioning operators, you're about to hear some things. To Big John we go. Yeah, I know once I get to my attacks and I fight my style, nobody can fucking beat me. And I mean nobody in the MMA at the bantamweight division. Hawaii, you guys are fucking savages out there. Love the applause. If you're cheering for me, thank you. If you are not, go fuck yourself. By the way, you'll see, if you get a look at Kerry Hatley, if he steps back into this shot, you'll see he's wearing a purple wristband on his right wrist. The referee's tonight purpled up, sporting the official color and support bands of military children. And the real question that we're going to have here is Breno did a really nice job throughout a lot of that first round. But we've seen that when he fought Josh Hill, he did get a little tired going into the third round. Is the pace going to be something that starts to slow his action down? Nice jab by Breno. Sabatello has four letter words for days and he's got cardio for days. He, I've, I've never seen the guy get tired. He knows when to, to take a second just to grasp air, and he continues to come back. He is in just remarkable condition, and he can carry a pace, but has a beautiful right hand by Breno right there. I don't care how good a shape you are, that will get your attention. And that was another one. Breno got his attention. That second left really got through, and again, Sabatello's in smart. Immediate level changes as soon as Breno scores. And Breno made the mistake of allowing him to take the back, Andy Sabatello had a word for Scott Coker. <laughs> that is, that's some serious high-level multitasking. It's always good when you talk to the boss while fighting. Nice step over. Coming have a lot of room to work here against the fence. Sabatello putting a lot of pressure on Breno, making it difficult. This is where he is just outstanding in being able to control the position of where the fight is at. But he does need to, at this point, look towards doing some damage, look towards going for submissions. That's how you put that check mark to where they're going to give you those 10 points. And the proof is in what you're watching, in that Danny Sabatello and Mike Brown, even now, they'll push back when you talk about the Stotts fight. But look at what we're seeing. Exactly. Well, you know, what, what the actions are saying that they heard the words they were told. Mike Brown knew. You know, of course and, he did. And obviously, you know, Danny's his fighter and stuff, right. but he's been telling him, hey, when you're in these positions, I need you to open up more. I need you to do this. And that, and you're seeing it. You're seeing Danny listen to him. He took that information. He's applying it in the cage right now. Just an outstanding performance so far. Think about in the old days of basketball when there was no shot clock. You could hold the ball for 45 seconds, but would you, would you, did you score at the end of the possession? And how many college teams did that? Back in those days, uh -huh. speaking of trash talk, <laughs> takes one to no one. Yeah, look at this. Breno rolling to it. The knee bar on what, it right now. What does Sabatello have to do from here? Sabatello needs to use that foot. He has on the butt. Start to clear that knee from the hip junction. That's what he's done. Very nicely done by Danny Sabatello. You've got to get that knee past and the look hip. And at him jump right oh. to the neck. Right back to the offense. But he doesn't have his one hand hooked no. up right. And that's why you see him. Breno is just trying to relax, be calm. Right back to the great minds by Danny Sabatello. That's a lot of pressure on the diaphragm of Marcus Breno. Good elbow strikes. And this is what we're talking about. Damage in these positions. Don't just continue to try to hold position. You've got to take the chance of opening up and creating a position where you're making your opponent Except damage and move. Now he's flying him out. He's, he's got this deep, and it's over. And this is the evolution of Danny Sabatello right before our eyes. That was special. You got it. 